Cyber today is as dangerous as nuclear weapons were in the 1950s and 60s because you can bring a country to its heels in a matter of hours with cyber. And what's dangerous about what is happening with, with nation states engaging in cyber warfare of various kinds, corporate and otherwise, is that um, it creates a set of practices and a tit-for-tat process that could ultimately spill over into non-state actors. And what I worry about are, you know, 15 to 50 people highly paid, quietly and secretly working in a shed somewhere who have the same ability as a nation state to crack into the cyber system and steal money from banks, which is happening, or upset public structure, air traffic control, a reservoir, transportation. Utility grids. Utility grids. So I, I'm very concerned uh, that, that what we need, and I'm proposing this now, I'm, I'm writing an op-ed on it right now, that we need to have a negotiation on an international basis of the major uh, cyber-capable countries, China and the United States, paramount with Europe among them, and establish the same kind of, of rules of the road structure that we did for nuclear weapons and arms control. We need arms control for cyber. And I've talked to cyber experts who believe it's doable. Uh, and, and I think it's the only way we're going to prevent catastrophe or very dangerous downstream impacts.